the team that brought you the award-winning film On the Wings of Men comes a new documentary film about feet, 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 feet. Oh, stinky feet! Tell us your definition of perfect feet. Tiny, petite, small, toes are in perfect alignment. You see a lot of perfect feet that are out there. However, we know all photo shoots are pretty much airbrushed a little bit. It takes exercise and that takes taking care of your body. Your feet, number one, if you're going to be a runway model. We have two model calls a month. It's very difficult to find models that have the entire package. I also have a, an extremely high arch that photographs very well. There is few companies in the fashion industry that are meeting every year with the designer of dresses and clothing, very famous designers, and together they decide which color is going to be next season. So I specifically do exercises to strengthen my feet and ankles so I would run barefoot on the grass. If you don't take care of your feet when you're running as well as, you know, during these, these adventure races and things, it, you know, you're, you're toast. Cardio and weight training is a big important part of the figure fitness community. If your feet are giving you any problems during that time, you're not going to be able to reach your competition goals. You would think, it would almost seem that the shoe companies that make billions of dollars selling shoes and orthotics would have some vested interest in making barefoot seem like a bad idea. Maybe. <laughs> you know, some of the barefoot minimalist types of shoes, you can take them and fold them right in half. That's where it's very, very important to have a stable shoe laterally. So it, it protects your foot, it holds the bone structure in place, so there's minimal rotation. As far as the minimalist shoes go, uh, I and the majority of the pediatric community do not agree with it. We don't think it provides support. We think that wearing our sock inside of a well-fitting shoe, a correctly fitting shoe, is the closest thing you could get to barefoot. The red shoe is like a classic, iconic, like it's the shoe. If the man is choosing the shoe, this is the shoe. I've seen a few men with foot feet tattoos, but you know, Mainly women, like younger women, trying to get to show it off, you know, go to the beaches and wearing their flip flops. I had a few people who came to me and they told me their big toe is fat. They wanted a light suction of their big toe done. Fetishism in general is described as a intense sexual arousal to an object. So if we think about foot fetishism, a foot is actually a part of the body, so it's less of a fetish and more of what we like to call a partialism. Athletic socks are, you know, over a billion dollar business. There's so many cool things out there. We have a product line called Sprawl Ritual that we use. It was one of the first vegan lines that had been out that was new and developed from a company called Orly that's been around forever. Spiritual is designated and has a special niche in the market. It's mainly for spas, destination spa, hotel spas, prestige stores. The gel market has really pushed the nail industry uh, just above and beyond. And in, in one year probably added $300 million to the overall sale of nail products. The hours that we spend in the gym, not to mention the money that we spend on just one competition. And so when we're up there on stage, we're rooting for each other. And it's not about competing with the person next to you. It's about competing with yourself and who you were the year before, the month before, the day before. We do have diabetic patients that come in for foot care and they need to be very careful because as the toenails get long, you scratch yourself in your sleep. If you have diabetic neuropathy, your circulation is bad. My mother ended up having an amputation. The doctor said, oh my. And I said, why, what's the matter? He said, no blood. He said, usually after I've done the sutures, there, there should be a little bit of blood that comes. So, he, you know, and he said, there's no blood whatsoever. So he goes, I'm concerned that whether or not this is gonna heal. My mother, she gave up.
ugly feet? I don't want to say anything if there's a such thing as ugly feet. I made him go get a pedicure. <laughs> it was my father. <laughs> there are feet out there that are not attractive. I all see you pretty. It's only you don't want to come in and get the pedicure then. then that's it. What are you here for today? <gasps> More than seeing some crazy looking feet, we have smelled some crazy ass feet. We welcome every shape, every look, every crooked toenail there is. And at this time, I exercise my Fifth Amendment rights. <laughs>